Hello, my name is Mathilde Cagney and I'm the uh, trainer of uh, Moose here who plays Eddie on Fraser. Moose here is a uh, now 12 years old Jack Russell Terrier. He's the original dog uh, that uh, started the series. He, um, he was adopted, he originally comes from Florida. The quality that I saw in Moose of uh, stock potential was that uh, he, uh, he was so mischievous and yet so much energy, fearless little dog uh, with a lot of personality and charisma. So uh, I knew right away Moose was going to be a challenge and, and it sure has been. For the audition of Fraser itself, we, uh, we got a call from the producers and they wanted to see uh, a bunch of dogs. So we brought about eight different dogs and it wasn't so much about what they can do but we lined them up and um, the producer looked at Moose and said that's it, it's him and they thought he will be good enough to have a role of annoying Fraser, uh, which he does very well which is the funny part is because he, they, he and Fraser are supposed to hate each other and, um, and he wants to outsmart Fraser all the time because that's his character obviously uh, as soon as the cameras are off and as soon as we're off the set Kelsey's the first one on his hands and knees and being even more dog than the dog itself. The perks of uh, being a dog star are pretty great. <laughs> he gets tons of gifts, he gets to be uh, pampered in a way that every time we go to a special event um, he will be picked up by a limousine and we've been invited to every talk shows. He gets fan mails. He gets to travel first class. People love him so much that he he's given all this attention and all this love. And Moose loves to uh, chase squirrels <laughs> and um, hang out in the sun, go on hikes and walks. Uh, he's, and occasionally, um, jump in the trash will just be totally his cup of tea. We also make a point of uh, doing as many charities to help other dogs in need. That's the part of, of working with a live animal that, that can be so cute sometimes because yes, they are natural and things happen. One time, he was coming down from the hallway and he had to come in and, and pick up a sock that was hidden underneath the couch and uh, bring it to Fraser. And he came in flying down, just running so fast and he stopped right there and he looked at me and I could see in his eyes and as a matter of fact we could all see he went blank, just completely forgot what he had to do but did not want to disappoint me so he ran all by himself, all his tricks so he started circling, barking, waving you know, is that, is that what you want, is that what you want and went through the whole repertoire and I'm um, like, no, no, no and the director let it run because it was just you know, so cute. Another time, he um, he um, he had to come in and jump on a chair, and um, and just sit there. But a newspaper was uh, was on a coffee table, and he did that. So jumped on the chair, and then saw the newspaper, grabbed it, made it fall just perfectly enough that the newspaper was hanging, and kind of looked at it. So it looked like he was actually reading the newspaper, and that was one of was one of the fluke that we kept because it was perfect. He made his own bit, and and it worked perfectly. So um, so it works both ways. <laughs> sometimes he makes me look like a fool, but sometimes <laughs> he makes me look really smart. Oh.